Hey, it's Ben with the Ross County Butchery. Today, I'm actually up on some scaffolding. It's our kill floor. And uh, we gotta replace some parts on our hoist. This is a CM Lodestar one-ton hoist. And our brake mechanism was acting up a couple weeks ago. We were able to adjust it to get it to work temporarily, but just got our new brake mechanism in. We're gonna swap this thing out. Hopefully, it's a pretty quick job. Hopefully. All right, so first step, we're going to take the back cover off with four flathead screws. Once you take those screws out, you just pull this whole cover off. Brake mechanism will be right behind here. This is the load cell, so this actually measures uh, the actual weight. Um, you can see our cable that goes down to our digital readout. And uh, this is actually the second one we've had to replace on here. Um, just a couple little issues here and there, but uh, always got to make sure we're going to get accurate weights for everything that we're doing. I got the cover off. This is pieces of the brake that was falling out as I took it off. So this thing is definitely well worn, probably a good time for us to replace it. And uh, should just be these two flathead screws on either side there. Hopefully let us just pop this old one off and uh, replace a new one. The problem we had before with our hoist was due to the clearance between these two metal plates here. Um, when the scale was broken before, it wouldn't go up or down. The motor was trying to run uh, and that kind of led us to the brake mechanism. So uh, if you don't have the right clearance in there, then it can't suck the metal over and pull the brake pads apart. So it's just gonna be locked up. So whenever you energize it, you know, up or down, it's gonna close this gap up and then that'll, and that'll, that'll give it enough of a gap between the, the friction surfaces there to allow this, the hoist to go up and down. So if your scale won't go up or down, but the motor seems like it's trying to work, see if you can make sure that the, you got the right clearance. I think it's like 20 thousandths or something, so. So we got the uh, flathead screw out of there. You've got to remove this nut off the top right corner. I already got that one loosened. And then uh, you have to remove this bolt back here. And that'll let, us, that'll let us bring the whole brake mechanism off there. It's a half inch for the nut and a half inch for the bolt. Once you get the brake off, you just have these three electrical connectors. Uh, just swap them over to the same spot on a new one. Our new brake mechanism is installed. Wires are hooked up. Screws are tight. Just test it out. Everything seems to be working. If you're going to do a job like this, it helps to have a Rodney with a toolbox down there to throw your tools. So overall, about 20, 30 minutes, not a really complex job, uh, pretty straightforward. So if you're stuck and your hoist won't go up or down, check your brake mechanism. 